Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today uh, I'm going to speak about uh, how I found peace in my life uh, and my suggestions as to what you can do if you're struggling uh, with anxiety. Uh, five ways uh, that I have learned uh, over the years. Uh, five ways uh, that uh, I've discovered uh, that are essential uh, to uh, having and keeping uh, peace in your life, to live a happy, stress-free life uh, and to be peaceful. Uh, I've got actually a request uh, from one of my lovely subscribers once uh, to talk about it. Uh, you know I have a lot of uh, uh, peaceful vlogs uh, on my channel. Uh, and if you don't know, uh, then I suggest you to check them out, uh, sometimes even uh, ASMR, <laughs> when you just have silent vlogs and sounds. Um, and I thought that I'm going to answer that in this video. But before we hop in, uh, make sure you're subscribed, it helps immensely my channel uh, to grow to reach 1,000 subscribers and also everything uh, I talk about, uh, not only in this video, uh, but in previous videos, I sometimes uh, take some vitamins uh, or some other things. You can always find all those things uh, and the links to those things in the description box below. It's below uh, my video. For instance, I'm drinking water, hot water uh, from this cup. If you like this cup, you can check it out. I painted it myself and I also um, have a shop uh, with uh, prints of my paintings on different products like uh, mugs, uh, pillowcases, uh, uh, plates, clocks and so on. So feel free to check out. Uh, it will totally make my day. So let's hop uh, right into this video. Last time I sat down and had a chat about uh, a subject was actually a year ago when I talked about uh, uh, assertiveness, how and why you should say no. I will link this video uh, up here. Uh, it was a very popular, uh, it was a motivational video uh, and this is a similar. One year later I'm sitting down uh, with a cup of water and I'm talking about the subject. Five ways those five points, five ways of finding peace for me are uh, being grateful, faith or God. Uh, number three is uh, having a good uh, relationship with those uh, closest around you. Number four is uh, accepting that which you cannot change. And number five is uh, having good routines. And now I'm going to talk briefly, I hope, about each of those five points. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk too long, uh, but if you would be interested, I might elaborate on one of those points uh, in a future video. So number one was being grateful. I already talked about very briefly about this uh, subject uh, in another video uh, when I took a peaceful walk uh, at the river. I will also link it up here. Uh, I mentioned uh, that being grateful uh, brings me peace and happiness and uh, I wasn't always grateful. I saw everything that I didn't have. Uh, I um, saw the cup always half empty instead of half full, as they say, and um, I was constantly jealous. When you lack gratitude, uh, it's an easy road to become jealous of uh, what other people have, uh, of uh, whatever they are having that you don't have. And how to be grateful? Well, everyone has to uh, find that uh, on their own. The way I became grateful is uh, by thanking, thanking God, uh, thanking uh, the world, appreciating small things, um, finding beauty in the smallest things, in the nature and thanking for what I have. Um, I have a lot <laughs> and so many people have less and thanking for that uh, even though I wished and uh, would like to have uh, so many other things that I don't have yet or I might never have. 
I know some people uh, have a gratitude journal where they write down every day uh, what they are grateful for. I think uh, it could be a very useful uh, thing to do. I don't do that, but I just thank. I thank God every day uh, for what I have. And the more you thank, the more grateful you become and the more peace you find. So it's really worth it. Number two is uh, having a good relationship with those closest around you and uh, having peace in the environment you're living. And what I mean by that is uh, that those closest around us that we live with are those people that can give you us the most frustration usually. So it's very important uh, to have a peaceful relationship with those people. <clears throat> I don't only mean uh, in a marriage, a spouse, a husband, wife, I mean also if you're living with your parent or uh, with your sister or brother or with a close friend uh, or anyone else. But also uh, if you are living alone but you have a very close relationship with someone, you're engaged to someone, you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, and that relationship uh, is a constant source of frustration, then you cannot have peace in your life. And that could be uh, your mother, your father, uh, your husband, wife, your boyfriend, um, your sister, your friend. Uh, a person that you have the closest relationship is a constant source of uh, uh, fighting, of uh, anger, of frustration, of disappointment. Mm, it's very difficult uh, to find peace uh, because uh, all your thoughts, all your energy goes into uh, thinking and trying to improve that relationship. And peace comes from uh, your home, from where you're living. Uh, it's very important to feel uh, peaceful uh, where you're living and with uh, that person that you're closest with. Otherwise, as I said, all your energy goes into thinking and trying to improve that relationship. And uh, you don't have energy and time and space uh, to find peace and uh, to be peaceful. Uh, it's just not possible. And if you are living with someone, as most of us live, it's very important uh, to be happy and peaceful when you uh, finish work, uh, when you have your free time, or if you work from home, uh, to have a friendly environment and not to live in a hostile environment. Uh, it's doable, maybe, to find peace <laughs> in such an environment, uh, but it takes so much more effort. Now we have number three, and number three is uh, faith and believing in God. Now I know not everyone is religious, uh, but uh, nonetheless I highly recommend to become a religious and find God uh, because he is the source uh, of peace. Actually, I think you can see our newest addition, a big picture of Jesus Christ. Mm. <clears throat> and. Uh, God is uh, the source of happiness, uh, of peace. Uh, he puts everything into perspective. Uh, even though there are things that you might not like in your life, um, that you're disappointed with, believing in God uh, gives you peace. Uh, it gives you sense of uh, that it's His will that is happening and not your will. There are things in life uh, that we don't like, or that we wish uh, were different, but uh, with faith uh, you know that uh, what is happening uh, has a purpose and um, that it's for the best and that it's God's plan for your life. So uh, believing in God and uh, in an afterlife uh, gives you peace no matter what uh, is happening in your life uh, or in the world or what will happen. Many of you may know uh, what I'm thinking about this current situation in the world right now, for example. I think uh, something very sinister is going on and that uh, the evil has been unleashed uh, on this world. And we are living in very strange times, I would call it even the end times. But uh, 
walking with God and uh, knowing that uh, he is the creator and that he is the beginning and the end uh, gives me peace uh, even if I am angry and upset and sometimes worried about what is happening and uh, what you're doing um, with the world and uh, I don't know I see it as they are trying to make a new world order which I don't like and I don't accept uh, I know this is God's plan and it goes according to his plan and everything goes according to his plan and uh, what will happen will happen apart from that God is love God is pure love God is uh, peace God is uh, everything beautiful you can think of so having him as a friend is uh, better than anything else you can have in life number four is the most difficult uh, point is accepting that which you cannot change uh, this is the most difficult thing the most difficult thing is to accept that which you cannot change but there is also a lot of wisdom in that as long as you struggle and you're frustrated and you're trying to change something that uh, that is impossible you're trying and trying and maybe for some people it's possible but for you not uh, then it's a constant source of anxiety even if you accept that which you cannot change you can still be sad about it absolutely but you are sad and peaceful as long as you're struggling and fighting with it and not accepting it then you are sad and full of anxiety and you cannot have peace in your life and I know what I'm talking about uh, I can share one thing that I had to accept uh, that was the most difficult thing in my life to accept. I'm not going to talk about it very long, just mention it because it's private and painful. But uh, I accepted that uh, for some reason, even though it's unexplained, uh, we will probably never have children. And it's uh, very sad and very painful to me and I never spoke about it. Uh, and I will probably not speak about it unless someone really, really wants to hear that. But I accepted uh, my, our unexplained infertility. And uh, it was the most difficult thing to accept. And until I accepted that, I was full of anxiety and uh, anger and stress, uh, etc. And I wasn't peaceful. And I'm still sad, often. But I am peaceful because I've accepted that. And it could be the same thing uh, with anything you are struggling with. Uh, some people have a disability that they cannot change or they had an accident. They are not in the same health. Uh, they are not uh, as healthy as they were. Or someone died that they loved. Uh, or they wished for many children and, I, and they only got one. Or they don't have children at all or they wished to marry and they never married. And you can still have hope. There are some things uh, that uh, even though never happened, you can still hope sometimes. Um, not if someone died, of course, uh, but even then some people imagine that the, that person is still alive and, and, and they don't want to accept the truth. Uh, when it comes to the other things, you can still have hope even if you're 50 and uh, you went on dates and you think you're nice and you prayed and you did everything you could but still you never married well you could still have hope but you have to accept uh, that maybe it will never happen it didn't happen for 50 years maybe it will never happen uh, and the same with everything else you can wish and hope for a better health uh, or that you will um, miraculously um, not be disabled or have children uh, or anything else you're struggling with, something extremely heavy. But you have to accept that maybe it will never happen. And when you accept that, which is so difficult to accept, uh, then you can have peace in your life. But this is the most difficult part. And uh, sometimes you need therapy uh, to be able to do that. And also being uh, religious and having faith in God uh, also puts everything into perspective and you can accept that maybe uh, this is his will 
and his plan for your life and uh, that he sees what you're struggling with but it's probably for the best and that's uh, his uh, plan and will and then it's much easier to accept uh, that which you cannot change and my fifth and last point is uh, having good routines uh, and it's actually very important um, because if you're uh, stressing around in the evenings or uh, you don't eat a proper breakfast in the morning you, you never have time to go for a walk uh, you don't take care of yourself uh, in that way that you're able to uh, you, you're constantly I don't know you constantly have a cold because you, you don't take uh, vitamin C and there are th small things uh, that you don't take care of uh, and it's difficult to have peace. Um, this might be the smallest thing, but also the easiest um, to do, you know. It's uh, the easiest thing to change your routine. Uh, I have, for example, uh, a sleeping routine that I spoke about uh, in a video, sleeping routine video. Uh, I take magnesium uh, often in the evenings, for example. I will also link this down below. Uh, I lay on an acupressure mat. I do things uh, to uh, be peaceful in the evening, uh, to have a good night's sleep. Uh, you see my videos of um, my uh, mindful, healthy morning routines, uh, which I, of course, don't always do, but often. Uh, you see the food I am eating, the vitamins I'm taking, which I can also link below. Uh, it's important to take care of yourself and of your mind and body uh, as much as you can, uh, as much time as you have, of course. Uh, not every day looks the same way, but you have to constantly like, check on yourself and take care of yourself because no one else will. And if you don't do that, uh, it, will be, it will be difficult to uh, have peace, uh, to feel good and healthy. Uh, about yourself. Even if you have an illness in your life, you can still uh, make sure uh, you're having good routines and taking care of yourself in what way you can. So it's uh, very important and if you need inspiration, uh, you can check out um, my different videos on my healthy, mindful routines in the morning, in the evening. That was all for today. Uh, I hope this was very helpful and not too long uh, and uh, thank you for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye!